Yo. I'm Andres. This is my channel, Super Genki, but I'm not feeling it today. Wow, let me tell you why. For the first time in my life, I'm returning home, but I don't have anything to chase after. I don't have like a next step that's in place to allow me to be Yankee. It's always been something grand. It's always been something like fun, like becoming a writer or going to Japan or getting this job I wanted. But all that stuff is, it's not here anymore. You blame it on COVID, blame it on whatever. I think COVID saved me a darn lot of time by really limiting the amount of options I had to continue the previous lifestyle I was living. Now this previous lifestyle, you may all know it, it's kind of like just, I'm gonna do it regardless of whether I have experience or not, just like the rah, 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 it's that fight. It's that kid spirit that like, I'm gonna take on the world because I can do it. It was that kind of feeling, but now like as I'm packing up and getting rid of so much stuff because I don't want to pay 300 euros on my plane flight for extra baggage. I'm getting rid of a lot of these clothes and I'm realizing, wow, like everything that I have is just an item that I've hoarded along my journey and I've just been lugging this stuff all around the world and what does this all really matter? And that's the big question that's on my mind today. What does all of this matter? Because I haven't been consistent with video making. I never would have known if I would have been successful. Never would have known. Isn't that crazy? Because I never was consistent. Like for a year, never. And now I'm thinking like, oh my wow, what's gonna happen when I get back to America? Ay ay ay. Let me tell you, that's my new catchphrase. Ay ay ay. Like, that's my Spanish person inside of me. And what's gonna change? I have no idea. I have no idea. But I have like the resources. I have the people. I have like the stuff. I have stuff that can help me take on this next step, this next journey, but it's not the stuff that I used before. It's stuff that I'm gonna have to relearn and reintegrate into my person. And it's just, it's taking everything that I am and removing it from this equation. And oh yeah, yeah, this is a feeling of like true, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. I don't know where I am. I don't know why I'm here. Um, I've said I'm super ganky for such a long time, but I don't even feel it because I have all this potential. I have all this talent. It's just, I don't really know how to use it. And I feel that's such a normal feeling. It's like we have talent and we, we, we want to use it, but we don't know how to use it in a way that's like, consistent with the narrative that we've been taught to be successful and dude man almost 25 years old almost 25 years old and it is honestly speaking crazy like cuckoo crazy how much moving around i've done in this time span and how like Again, I'm like at the same step again. It's like it's like on auto repeat and I know we all live our lives like this like every year I think we tend to feel the same way we felt at the same time The year before every like major shift in our life brings about the same feeling but because they happen So few and far we forget what those feelings are and for me this is the first time I've had a feeling of, okay, I'm moving, but I don't have a clear image of what I'm going to do when I get back. And that is a little 
Mm, I want to say scary, but I don't know if scary is the right way to to say it. But I feel very defeated. I feel like Europe, quarantine, everything, it defeated me. And what do I mean by defeated? I feel like Super Genki is is no more. It would never be a consistent display of the Genki if I were to say it from now on. And um, it sucks. It really, it, it really does suck. This feeling of not knowing where your life is headed and not feeling like any of the plans are gonna work and looking at your room and seeing just mountains. Let me show you mountains of garbage everywhere. Mountains and mountains and just what am I taking back with me? I have no idea. It's almost so much stuff. I don't want to do it all today, but I've had a, I've had a rough week. This week, for some reason, has been extraordinarily bad in terms of repeating these cycles because remember we're pattern seeking creatures and we look for cycles to repeat in our environment to make sense of our reality and our decisions i've just been the, the binging has been crazy this week um the amount of wasted time has been crazy um uh, the amount of video intake oh like i think about it right now like it's so easy but it's so stupid it's so mind-numbing that like I can't take it anymore. But what's going to happen? Is anything going to happen? I don't know. What stuff am I going to take back with me? What memories am I going to have for the future? I don't know. I just know that um, this is a very meaningful experience right now. I think that this defeat in Europe is very meaningful. And... In terms of going forward, remember, I still have five years left before I'm 30 years old because I turn 25 soon. And I think that I could still beat the clock. I could still um, revamp the life. Life is going to be longer than, I, than, I, than it is in this moment. And this is an inner conversation that um, I feel we should all have with ourselves, you know, we should really just sit ourselves down and be like, hey, what are we doing? How are we feeling? Where are we going? So many different things to think about. But anyway, everyone, that's just a quick update about where I am right now before I'm leaving Spain. Um, yeah, y'all know it. Deuces. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye.